is up guys this is nick here from everything tech and welcome to this episode of ios 9.2.1 for the ipod touch so hopping right into settings you're going to see that i am running ios 9.2.1 and ios 9.2.1 for the ipod brings literally just about nothing that you're going to notice just some security fixes here and there throughout the os but basically in this video we're going to show you how the baby performs and what talk about what the battery is like and just uh, check out the camera, see how quick that is, and some just some overall performance speed test, just so you can see if it's going to be worthy of you updating, as I know a lot of you like to stick with your older operating systems because they perform so well. So basically, we're just gonna go through some of the app switching, and we're gonna go through some of the games, and just talk about the overall you know performance speed of this, and just uh, that should let you know if you wanna update to this latest iOS 9.2.1. Security fixes is pretty much it. So let's get into that app switching speeds right now. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and make sure everything is cleared out before we do this app switching speed to make sure that this is fair. So let's clear everything out. As you can see, those cleared out pretty smoothly. Let's get into calendar. Let's back out. Let's come back into weather. As you can see, 37 degrees in Chicago. Let's back out. Let's come into calculator. Let's come back out. Let's come into maps. Let's come back out. Let's go into Safari. And uh, while we're in Safari, let's do a quick Google search. So let's go to Google.com. And let's do, let's see, iPod Touch. Can't type behind camera. This keyboard is tiny. 9.2.1. And uh, you can see final links right there. Scrolling speed within Safari is very smooth still, so that's a good thing. Let's come back out. Let's go into the App Store, see how long that takes to fire up. My Wi-Fi connection is downloading about 85 megabits per second, so it's not a slow Wi-Fi connection. So if you see any slowness, it's due to the operating system itself. And uh, let's come back out. Let's go into News. And as you can see, it is taking its sweet time, so... This just goes to show that the iPod Touch 5th generation is getting long in the tooth. Um, that's slang for it's getting old and slow. Uh, contacts, right here. Let's come back out. Let's go into clock right here. And we are out of clock. So as you can see, that took quite a while. Let's go into wallet. And uh, let's open that up. That's opened up and don't allow. Let's go back out. Let's go into stocks. As you can see, bam all those things took quite a while to open not the fastest but it's still gonna be adequate it's still gonna get the job done overall i mean it's still probably better than you know an older you know let's see an older android from years ago so at least they're keeping their device updated and it's pretty smooth there on the app switching test so now let's get into the gaming test all right guys getting into the gaming test i'm gonna clear all this stuff out too because this ipod would probably lag up if we are <laughs> running all that stuff in the background so we're not going to play a bunch of games due to the, the loading times it takes. We'll be here all day. But let's go into Flappy Bird. Let's see how that runs. Old school game. Went viral and then died. What goes up must come down. So literally in this game, what goes up must come down. As uh, you can see, one and I'm dead. But basically, it just crashed right there mid-game. So you see in that game, just crashed live on camera. So that's just a little bit of a, <laughs> a coincidence that we're trying to show off the operating system and the game crashes so it crashed again so i guess that game is not very optimized so that's not a good sign for ios 9.2 but that might just be the app developer themselves so let's get into tempo run and like i say, i'm not trying to bash this operating system it's just from my personal perspective um you may differ this is just getting a little bit slow even compared to a lot of the even budget devices on the market today um, can outperform this budget phones can outperform this so it's not really uh, a good idea to keep using this device unless you absolutely have to. I would recommend an upgrade if you can swing it. If you can't, then it's still gonna get the job done, but it's not gonna impress you by no means. Um, iPhones are running pretty cheap these days. Even the iPod 6 generation has come down way in price. It's like 150 or 199, so that's a pretty good upgrade from this. But overall, Temper Run's playing pretty smooth. But yeah, <laughs> gaming on this will suffice. 
I mean, it'll get the job done, like I say, but it's not gonna, you know, be the most high frame per second or highly graphical games are gonna run super buttery smooth on here. They will run, don't get me wrong. They're gonna run. They're not just gonna, you know, lag out on you and you can't even play it. But it's not gonna be the most enjoyable experience if you're someone who is not like five years old and doesn't really, you know, can notice that stuff. But us, you know, people that can notice it, whatever age you are, it's probably gonna get a little bit annoying to you. So that's pretty much the gaming on the iOS 9.2.1 for the iPod Touch fifth generation. All right, guys, wrapping up this video, I just wanna do kind of a um, ADD test or speed test overall, just kind of flying through the OS. I call this ADD test attention deficit disorder test because I used to have that when I was a child. So basically, let's get into it. So basically you can see right here, there is a little bit of a delay when I'm swiping my finger. You can't really see it on camera, but I can feel that there's a delay right there going up and down right here. A little bit of a stutter there when you bring down the keyboard. Typing is slightly delayed, honestly, it slightly is. Holding down for Siri, whether for Chicago. And as Siri tries to get that, I guess she can't. There she goes. So a, lo a lot slower than you're going to see on something like an iPhone. But uh, let's see. Let's pull down this right here. Let's pull that. Let's go like this. As you can see, there's a, there's even a slight delay going this way. Now, your eyes may not see this, but as a person who plays with all kinds of technology, I can definitely see these things. So going into settings, see we're waiting right there. Let's scroll down. A little bit of a hiccup so the touch response time is just not completely there let's hit the home button let's hit the lock button see how long that takes a little bit of a second not bad on, not bad on the lock screen actually so uh, let's take a quick picture see how quick the camera opens we'll bring in my Microsoft mouse editing mouse for the videos and uh, let's see how that works So picture taking is actually, once it gets fired up, it's not too bad. Going over to video, let's see, it's not doing what I want it to do. Going over the time lapse video. So you can see that it does take a little bit of time to actually load the modes. But once they get in there, the pictures are still very solid on this device and very easy to use, iPhone-like. Um, you have filters here and there, but everything overall in the camera performs pretty solid. I wouldn't be too you know, upset with my camera on this iPod Touch fifth generation. All right, guys, well, that pretty much wraps up this review for iOS 9.2.1 for your iPod Touch fifth generation. And you may be asking the question at the end of this video, Nick, well, I seen what you did, but should I update to this review or to this operating system? And the answer is, well, it's up to you. I don't think it brings too much difference, but uh, if it was me, yes, I would update just for the security fixes. Um, I would actually update the iPod. I would try to upgrade from this as this device is getting pretty you know, old and it's just not very um, enjoyable experience from my experience anymore. It may be to you, so I'm not bashing you if you enjoy it, but just from my personal experience, it's not a very enjoyable experience anymore. For music, perfect. It's a great music device. If I'm just going to use it for music, but I'm talking about if you're trying to use your iPod Touch kind of as an iPhone, uh, iPhone replacement to just, you know, play games, do all kinds of things. It's going to be a little bit laggy compared to most even budget devices today. So anyways, that pretty much wraps up this review. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead, hit that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more technology videos and reviews and all kinds of anything and everything, tech, software, tips and tricks, all kinds of stuff over here. So um, yeah, I will catch you all in the next one. Be well, peace.